Hello, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwardhan from Nandadi Pai Hospital, Sangli, Maharashtra, India and PG Teaching Institute and in this video we are going to talk about stuck nucleus management. It's a very troublesome situation that we face during cataract removal where nucleus is stuck and we cannot take it out. Let's start with a small quiz. What is the common characteristic in these three cases? This is a case 1, case 2 and the case 3. So what is the common thing? Can you see something common? Yes, of course, you are right. All these three cases have soft nucleus, you can see that grade 1 and with some cortical element of cataract and this cortical element makes it slightly difficult to deal with so we'll see how these cases are managed because another common thing with these cataracts is that we are more likely to get stuck with the nucleus so let's start with case 1 4.5 to 5 millimeter ccc was achieved now as we use more and more premium iOS, we want the optic to be covered by CCC, we tend to make smaller CCCs. For these cases, maybe a larger CCC is better. I am planning deep trench and division. I thought the division is right there, so I rotated it 180 degree, try to complete the division from another side. But because of this gummy nature, soft nucleus, the center you can see remained stuck probably I could have done little bit more effort to divide that and as I start the next divisions you can see the complete division is not possible the pieces of the soft nucleus remain stuck they are tied with each other and uh, as we move on to the quadrant removal you can see the pieces are not separate so I'm going to face difficulty to pull this piece out of the bag and uh, the chipping is happening now you can see as I try to pull the nucleus piece out it starts chipping now one piece gets out because it was divided there but uh, still I am having difficulty to pull out rest of the nucleus out of the bag and what I have realized in these cases you have to keep the pick up or minimum almost zero and use only vacuum the piece will keep on chipping because uh, it's quite gummy and soft and rather than approaching this nucleus opposite to the incision like here what I'm doing it is better to approach this nucleus maybe from sideways in that manner you can pull the piece out easily as compared to like this if you are approaching opposite to the incision so you just see I have changed my approach and starting to pull the nucleus out from the side and uh, I could achieve that of course it came out because I could take out one piece of the nucleus initially so that debulked the this soft nucleus and then I could pull it out through the smaller CCC which is there and you can see the capsulorexis is around 4.5 to 5 millimeter well covering the optic but maybe it made the job little difficult for the surgeon now this is a second case uh, there is severe asteroid hylosis so that makes the visualization little difficult because the glow is not good and again the same thing was planned to make a deep trench and divide but you can see the uh, nucleus is very soft the center is still stuck I was not able to divide it completely and lot of cheese wiring happening because this gummy nature of the soft nucleus and pieces again are still stuck to each other and when they are stuck to each other it's not possible to pull it out particularly this cortical element I think makes it tougher because uh, it kind of binds the pieces together because peripherally they are still not completely separated and you have to make efforts to separate them peripherally but uh, it's uh, always difficult because the central part of the nucleus is too soft to hold on to and cheese wiring keeps on happening so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to chip little pieces trying to laterally separate where I have made the trench here because I want to take one pole of this nucleus out somewhere like in the earlier case uh, but I'm not getting any space and uh, 
of course the nucleus is stuck so take a pause think and I'm going to hydroprolapse so push the fluid from one side and at the same time press the pole down so what you get is that the nucleus pole from the opposite side gets prolapsed through the capsular axis and once this is done it's much easier to tackle so start at the edge of this prolapsed pole and start chipping and aspirating don't uh, let the piece go down into the bag again and uh, once you debulk from the edge of this prolapsed nucleus you will find that you will be able to pull out rest of the nucleus because it's now much smaller in size and can be pushed and uh, pulled from one side of the uh, bag and uh, most important again keep minimum power maybe you can use zero power you hardly require any peco energy here and use only vacuum so that you have a safe outcome again you can see the ccc is around 4.5 millimeters slightly smaller but well covering the optic and toricyle was implanted so this is the third case now again you can see significant cortical component but nucleus cross is just grade one making it little bit gummy soft again the same strategy to make a deep trench and try to divide it completely and uh, these are the cases where I find that in more number of such cases the center cannot be broken very easily probably a patient deep trenching near the center and careful division might work in few cases but because of the soft nature of the nucleus cheese wiring happens a lot now in this case what I'm going to do I'm going to just keep on rotating the nucleus and keep chipping uh, pieces from this uh, peripheral part of the nucleus a bit risky move but uh, be careful good fit switch control no FECO energy use and you will be able to chip those pieces and once uh, you do a lot of chipping the size of the nucleus goes down and now you can see I was able to pull out the nucleus from the bag so this is another way to approach this case so in the first uh, one I could just pull it out one piece and then rest of it followed second one I did hydroprolapse so in these cases anticipate stuck nucleus wherever there is softer cataract with cortical element hydro delineation can be attempted many times it's not possible in such cases attempt larger CCC that might ease the procedure always strange deeper centrally and maybe a little bit of more patient and foot switch control might do the trick try if nucleus can be hydroprolapse chip and then flip with zero or low power and with high vacuum and whenever you feel desperate always take a pause and think of the strategy horizontal chop and mechanical chops may be of good use here so you can try to master those to tackle these kind of cases of course your ideas are welcome so do write in the comment section how you will tackle it differently thank you so much for listening and do subscribe to my youtube channel